This is Hogwarts, and today I'm gonna to be training like Harry Potter, and I'm not gonna stop until Hogwarts actually notices me. Do you think Hogwarts will notice me? You're gonna be chasing a dragon. A Whoa. dragon! Now these kids remind me of younger me. I was obsessed with the world of Harry Potter. All the dragons, flying brooms, and the magic. But now that I'm older, I wanted to make my childhood dream come true and get Hogwarts to notice me. So, for the first step of becoming a wizard, I need to learn how to use a wand. I you spent 10 minutes there trying. All right, so that didn't work at all. But I think I have something that will work. So this is a fake magic wand, and this wand, watch this. It should have worked. Okay, let me give me a second. It was off. It was off, that makes sense now. <clears throat> fireball out of it. So how it works is you take a little bit of this, which is flash paper, and when you ignite flash paper, it pretty much evaporates in a fireball. You tear a piece of it off just like this, hold it up, stick it into the wand, and then... Let me try it again. So what I'm gonna do is give my friends a fake wand, and I'm gonna use the real wand. Whenever they try to do a spell at me, nothing's gonna happen. But when I do something, it's gonna shoot fireballs at him. Put this on. Scarf? Yes. Hold this and follow me. You and me are gonna have a wand off. Okay. Lumos. Lumos. <laughs> what? <laughs> no way. Isn't that crazy? How come I didn't do that? Uh, you're not a wizard, man. Give me your best spell. That one's a spell. It's Lumos. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Was, was that not impressive? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> the sound it made was like, pop! <laughs> Aloha Mora. Oh! That one scared me! Yeah, Nick asked the same question. Yeah, that's what I said. I didn't do that cool <laughs> this shit. This is only a Ford one. Thanks, Jake. Can I keep the scarf? You can keep the scarf. Okay, thank you. Bye. Now, casting spells wasn't the only thing wizards can do. They can also ride a flying broomstick. So if Hogwarts was gonna notice me, I was gonna have to perfect this. All right. I am so glad I'm filming this one. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this one, man. Yeah, man. Well, at least if you're gonna do this, do it right and do it off the trampoline. Off the trampoline? Yep. Bro. Bro. This is a terrible idea. Yep. I'm gonna fly, Nick. You're gonna fly. I'm a wizard! On me. Yeah. yeah, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Oh, it's so cold. You feel like Harry Potter? No. No, I don't. I don't think it was cold enough. No, no, no. I didn't work. Indeed, that didn't work. But I think I found a way to actually ride a flying broomstick. So there is a small town in Seattle where they take a plane into the air, you walk out onto the wing, and hold onto the broomstick just like Harry Potter. So yeah, I was gonna attempt to do that. You guys watch Harry Potter? So after seeing everyone was clearly a Harry Potter fan, it was time to learn how to do this. We don't get the entire wing to step on. Every time we go to take a step, your foot's gonna get messed with the wind a little bit. We've gotta be really careful before we put that weight down. If we're flat-footed, we'll end up stepping on the ribs. Ribs can break. It's time to channel your, your inner dainty ballerina. Or Harry Potter. I'd be in trouble if I did this. <laughs> I spent the next four hours learning the way wizards position their body to actually stay on a flying broomstick. And let me tell you, it is not that comfortable. I really, really feel it down there. I'm gonna... <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> oh my and then God. You're ready to channel your, after you channeled your inner ballerina, now it's time to channel your inner Harry Potter. I like that. So. <laughs> I'm fulfilling a big dream here. Yeah. This is getting real. Yeah, is. This is gonna be my beauty. It just breaks. I'm like, uh. <laughs> Let's make a deal. 
If this video gets 10,000 likes, you have to come back and do this. Deal. Deal? That's also a high rate moment. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna be about as high as it gets, man. <laughs> now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was terrified. But I was here to prove to Hogwarts I am worthy of their approval and nothing was gonna stop me. Um, except for the wind. The second I stepped out onto the plane, I was hit with 80 mile an hour winds. So if I was gonna successfully do this, each step had to be perfect. So while I'm trying to reach this broomstick, I'm also trying to reach 1 million subscribers. So if you're enjoying what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button. Now, it was finally time to make my childhood dreams come true and ride a flying broomstick like Harry Potter. I couldn't believe I was actually doing this. All the years of watching Harry Potter movies to now doing it in real life. That is absolutely insane. Wow. That was crazy. <laughs> that was a smooth. high road, dog. Yeah, that's a high road for sure. Oh. Did you say I'm a wizard, man? You're a wizard, Harry. Thanks. <laughs> but as good as it was, I just needed one more thing to be satisfied. So I went back to Hogwarts and I was feeling good. And if you're wondering why I move the way I do I just feel so good, good, good oh, I just feel so good, good My younger self will be so proud that I've made it this far and really did the things I've always dreamed of doing. But there was still one last thing I needed and that was Hogwarts approval. Can I show you a video about Hogwarts? I just did this, and all I need to know is that if I get the approval from Hogwarts, this is Quidditch in real life. I see the world through my thrift store shapes, rose colored lenses, and a fake gold frame. Can I get a picture, please? Let me show you this real quick. Would you say that this gives me like the Hogwarts approval? I just did this. Posing for your picture like a superstar. These muggles nowadays. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you are. Was that it? Uh, yeah, you're good. <laughs> yeah. As a wizard, I approve. I just feel so good. Yes! Good. Yes! Good. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely? Yeah. Alright, let's get a picture. <laughs> if he would have said no, I would have never taken the picture. I just feel so good. Nick? Why have you been at the Butterbeer all day? Because it's great, bro. I'm, I'm drunk. You know there's no alcohol in these, right? What? 